Okay, if you've seen that explosive second part, you know that Muhammad Ali has taken the edge in this fight. Now, let's tune in for part three to see what the conclusion is. It's up to his opponent though. Now his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can throw a little of the clock to buy Defense, 
got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the first way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, though, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's going to make sure that his opponent's close enough that he goes to grab him. He's not as close as himself. Tyson takes that blow and now looks to clinch. He wants to clear his head right now, but not just physically, emotionally. He wants to get rid of that memory. He wants to make sure that he can move on after this and get aggressive again. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. an absolutely dominating performance by Muhammad Ali. Only Tyson had the advantage in I think the first round by one of the judges and for all the rest Muhammad had the edge and it was clear that he was going to win and we found out that he wins by KO so that was a great fight and if you want to see another fight please send me a comment saying who you want to fight next and I will be sure to post it up no matter who you are I don't even care. Now, um, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Let's Game Out.